welcome to my channel. This is going to be the first video on this channel and I'm going to be putting away some 17 photo cards. As you could probably tell, I collect S-Scoops and I actually have almost all of his Korean album photo cards. So the majority of what I'm going to be putting away today is actually other members, particularly from an ode. I recently bought two more copies of a node, the begin and real version, just because I had the least amount of photo cards for those two versions and I kind of wanted to even it out with the rest of the versions. The rest of these photo cards are going to be from Neo Kyo. I had the majority of these sitting in their warehouse for about three months. Um, so I finally shipped those over to myself and yeah, that's going to be the majority of it. Um, I don't really collect anything thoroughly other than just S. Goops' Korean album photo cards. Um, everything else in this binder is going to be either album pools because I like to keep my album pools. I never um, give them up and then any photo card that I saw and I really, really liked and wanted to have and own, so I went ahead and did so. Um, but yeah, with that, I will get right into it and I will be sleeving these as I go. So we're going to start with going 17. I have this S Goops photo card, which is the last one I was missing to complete his set, so that is really exciting. And then we're going to move forward to Teenage. I have S Goops's wipe um a gray version for this and it also completes his set which is super super exciting this photo card is not easy to find it's always ridiculously overpriced and if you find it for a decent price then it's probably going to be sold really really quickly so i'm very happy that i managed to find that for a really good price and was able to snag it then i have this Joshua photo card, which I pulled in that other copy of a note that I bought of the begin version. And then I bought this Wunu photo card from Neo Kyo. And this actually was in a set with all of his begin photo cards. Um, so I am actually spilling it with my sister, so I'm keeping this blue back and one of his white backs, and then my sister is keeping the other two. And then we have Tokyum. Also pulled him in my album. Those were the upstairs neighbors, if you heard that. <laughs> And then here is Wonu's other photo card that I'm keeping, the white back. And lastly for begin, I pulled this Sunquan in my album as well. My fourth pull for this album was actually this Escoops photo card, which I already owned it, so um, I just gave it to my sister because she didn't have it. But I was telling her that if I had pulled that when I before I started collecting him, I probably would have freaked out because that's one of my all-time favorite photo cards of his. So now we're gonna move on to Poet. I have this is probably my favorite set from Anode, and I just got. Joshua and DK to round out this page. You're going to be seeing this seven card layout a lot. Here's DK um, throughout my binder just because that's the layout that I like the most. So I like to keep, try and keep my pages to that as much as possible. 
And then we have this Jonghan white back, the poet version. And I actually got this one in a set with another one of his photo cards because um, Jonghan tends to be a little overpriced. So I found a set of his for a decent price. So went ahead and grabbed it. And then moving on to the infamous beret set, we have Ming Hao. And then we have June. I actually was going to get Jung Han for this page. Um, but like I said, he's really overpriced and I didn't want to pay. The amount that I was seeing that card priced at for it, so I ended up getting June. And I actually hadn't noticed that he would be the only one with a blue beret on this page. So that actually worked out because he goes in the middle. And I have Dino. And then for the white back, we have June, which came in a set with his beret card. He actually has a little black dot there, which the seller did say. And that's probably why he was quite cheap. Um, but I really don't care if he has that small little dot. I barely even notice it. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then we have Ming Hao to round out this page. This Ming Hao card and this Dokyong card are probably my favorite cards of them for Inode. It probably of all time as well. <laughs> They're just so beautiful. These are just top tier. And then for Truth, I have this Jung Han, which is the one that came in a set with the other one. And um, this page actually, as you can see, only has six photo cards, so I'll probably end up getting another uh, photo card just to make this a seven uh, card layout. And then for the white pack, we have Ming Hao. And we have Dino. There are definitely quite a few recurring members <laughs> on these pages. And then for real, I pulled this June, which is actually the counterpart to the one that I already pulled in his first, in the first album um, that I bought. So he's gonna go here. I didn't mention it, but as you could probably tell, I already have all the photo cards in order. Um, in the order that I'm going to be putting them away just because I wanted to save some time. And then we have this Ming Hao, which came in a set with one of his other photo cards that I needed or wanted. <laughs> um, and I just decided to keep it because I love it so much. And then I pulled Mingyu as well. These are the only two cards that are white backs. I just have a lot more of the white backs than the black backs, so I ended up putting it on this page. Ming Hao's actually, his background goes along pretty well with the rest of the photo cards on this page, so I just decided to keep him there. It's a little weird over here, but I mean, it is it is what it is. And I pulled Sun Quan as well in my album. And my fourth pull for this album was actually this same Wono card, which I already had. Um, so I'm just giving him to my sister because she does not have him. And then I have this Dino that came in a set with one of his, I can't remember if it was the Hope or Hope or Truth card that I was looking for. Um, and I really like it, so I decided to keep it. And now we're gonna move forward to semicolon so for semicolon much like 
many 17 collectors, um, I went ahead and decided to collect OT13 just because there are only two photo cards for this album per member and they're really easy to find, pretty cheap, and I bought enough albums to be able to collect all of them. So we have Joshua, which actually Joshua was the only member that I did not pull a single photo card of. So I have his full set here. We have Bono. And Boozy. And then Ming Hao. The way I organized these was just I set up the whichever card I like the most out of the two per member, I just set up first. So the first set are all of my favorite ones. And then we have the second set, which we have Joshua, who for some reason decided to take his picture in the very bottom half of the frame. <laughs> But that's okay. And we have DK. And finally, some fun. And that completes semicolon for me, so that's super exciting. Here are all of the cards. And then this next portion of my binder is just um, all other types of photo cards. So any Japanese photo cards, trading card sets, um, photo book sets, anything like that. I have my um, season's greeting set at the beginning just because I really like that set and I wanted to keep that as an opening to this binder. Um, but other than that, everything else is back here. So we have this Ming Hao photo card from Happy Ending. I'm honestly not entirely sure which version this is, but I <laughs> do not really know why I bought it, quite frankly. Um, but it's really beautiful and I love it and I couldn't resist. It was really cheap. so. Yeah, that's that. And then we have this Dino Happy Ending photo card. Again, not entirely sure what version it is, but he came in a one of the Node sets um, that I bought to get um, his Hope and Truth version cards. So he goes here. And then we have another one that came in one of those sets. Um, so this is his Fallen Flower card, and this is just such a beautiful photo card. I'm really happy that this came in the set and that I was able to keep it because it's, it's just a stunning photo card. It honestly makes me want to collect O213 with, with the little, I'm not sure if those are petals or just gold flakes on their face. I, so beautiful. And lastly for this page, we have Escoops. This is his HMV for semicolon. I believe this is the first round. And I'm actually thinking of collecting um, seven members for this photo card. Um, I'll probably just look for the ones that have the most colorful or neon background. Just because I really like those. Um, and... If they're easy to find, then I'll probably do it and just set up another page with the seven card layout. This portion of my binder is the messiest, um, but I've just been putting things away as I can until I start collecting more trading card sets. And then we have this Ming Hao, which is a Japan Dome Tour trading card.
And last but not least, we have this Minho OTU Japan. Yes, OTU in Japan trading card, uh, which is actually the counterpart to the Escoops one that I have. And yeah, that's the last one I needed to put away today. So with that, um, that completes this little storing photo cards video. Um, I actually have quite a few more photo cards I need to put away. Um, a lot of twice photo cards as well as just other boy groups and girl groups that I don't collect but I always keep all of my album pools so I have quite a few of those. Um, so I'll be filming that soon. I I'm actually just waiting for Warnell's album to come in because I bought his full set of albums. And then I also bought one of ATS's albums from their latest release. So just waiting for those to come in so I can film that video. And then I will probably be filming a binder tour um, video soon as well. Because I have, aside from this one, I have three other photo card binders. So I'll probably be doing that in the near future. But with that, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye. 우리 똥초리 볼빵빵했죠?